welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be creating this look for you right here, which I am in love with it. Um, this is a fall inspired look, of course. Um, I uh, To create this look, I used 24 palette. I use this Kat Von D palette, um, Ladybird. That's the one I use. And I also use one or two shades in this Makeup Forever palette, the Wild and She Eyeshadow palette. And on my lip, you might be wondering what do I have in my lip? I am wearing a Mary Kay um, lipstick. This one is bronze and I top it off with the NYX um, Ken. So um, yeah, without rumbling so much, I'm gonna jump right into the tutorial. Alrighty, you guys. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes using my Urban Decay uh, Eye Primer Potion using a flat synthetic brush to apply that all over my lid. You know, it's very important to use a primer if you want your makeup to last all day. Now the next thing, I'm going to grab my Kat Von D palette. I'm using this very light brown shade color to um, apply that as my transition color. I apply it using my uh, BH Cosmetic Blending Brush. Now following, I'm grabbing the brown color um, using another blending brush to deposit that on the outer corner of my eyes and also to define my crease. Now that brush that I'm using, it is by Sunyak Kashuk, which is one of my favorite brush lately. And the next thing here, I'm grabbing the terracotta color um, to deposit that on my lid using another BH Cosmetic brush. This one is a smaller brush. Um, I'm using that to deposit it on my lid. I use a pattern motion. It is very important when you want to build up the color, you use a pattern motion so you can build up the colors. Make sure you blend. I love to blend with every step. Um, it's very important. Now the next step here, I'm grabbing um, the two colors from this beautiful palette from Makeup Forever. Um, I grabbed the two light, the light, the two light colors um, to deposit that right on my tear duct it serve as a nice um, accent to kind of open up the eyes a little bit and of course whatever you do in one eye you have to do it on the other eye And make sure you blend very very well now the next thing here to make it a little bit more smoky I went on that same palette the Kat Von D palette I grabbed the purple and deposit that right on the outer corner of my eyes I wanted to have like a, a smoky look but not like a super super duper smoky look so I end up building up the color as you can see I'm building up the color um, until I get to the color the, to the intensity that I want. Now the next step here I am uh, refreshing my face using my uh, MAC um, uh, mist. I just uh, spray that on all over my face before I apply my backup primer. I realized that that primer has been drying out my skin very very much so um, that's why I like to spray my face before I apply it. Now, as you can see here, I am doing my highlighting before I apply my foundation. Um, it's just kind of help minimize um, the um, intensity of the highlighting. So I do that every now and then. Uh, you know, like as my favorite highlighter, I use it's um, the LA Pro concealers. I swear by them. I love them. Um, and I'm using a beauty blender. That beauty blender is from Cole. I really, really loved it. I only pay, I believe, like three dollars for it. Of course, it's wet with the finishing spray, kind of to blend everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. And uh, you did. I didn't show the foundation I use, but the one that I use is by uh, the Fit Me by Maybelline, the Matte Flawless Foundation. 
of course because that's been my favorite like since the day I bought it so I really really love that foundation now as you can see I'm just like um, blending in the foundation on my skin make sure it's blending really nicely and that brush is by it cosmetic just in case you were wondering gonna go back again kind of blend in my uh, concealer with the foundation so there is no harsh line whatsoever you know like I like a flawless look now I'm setting my under eye using my Laura Geller Brighten foundation this one is a it's in um, medium so it's kind of a lighter than my original skin so I can set my concealer with it and then I go all over my face using my uh, big powder brush um, to set everything I really really love this brush you guys now it's time to line my waterline I'm using this Urban Decay um, eye pencil and the black one now uh, whatever I did on the top of my lid I'm doing the same step on the bottom of my lid using the terracotta color and then the purple color to kind of give me a smokier like a smoky effect but a clean smoky look and the brush that I'm using is by Chanel I will leave all the products like I said on the description box below make sure you check them out just so you know which one I use now uh, I did not use a liquid liner um, just simply because I just did it so I used the same um, eye pencil just to line up the top of my lid because I did not want to do a winged or anything like that so it was okay for me to use the pencil then now I am applying my favorite mascara this one is by Benefit it's called Roller Lash just put like one or two coat of mascara top and bottom lashes um, even though I will be applying false lashes I like to give myself a good coat of um, mascara now I am going for my favorite highlighter lately it's Lucy by Gerard Cosmetics um, use it on my highest point of my cheekbone the top of my cupid bow and also uh, the top of my brow bone now it's time to apply my blush the one that I use is by um, Milani I really 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 love this and now I'm applying my lipstick the one that I use is by Mary Kay um, it's bronze now I put the first layer of bronze then I'm gonna go in with um, Ken by NYX as you can see deposit that right on the center of my lip literally that's it uh, for this look now the next the only thing that's left to do would be applying my false lashes now those false lashes I purchased them on Amazon I don't remember the exact name but I can leave I can leave the link on the description box below for you guys I purchased a pair of uh, five pair of them I believe it was like um, two dollars or three dollars for five pair and they are amazing I even used them on my client and my client loved them as well now you know after I apply my false lashes just taking my time because it can be tricky sometimes um, to apply false lashes someday I got it really quick and someday it kind of you know like challenged me a little all right you guys that's it for the look I really really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you are anybody like me you know I love fall and um, I love creating looks for you guys I am in love with this one uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up that let me know you are interesting on seeing more tutorials um, on my channel and of course share it with your friends on your social media I will greatly greatly appreciate it thank you for watching you guys i will see you very soon on my next video ciao